Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Alright Chinooks, we are so happy to be welcoming you back to school. So we will be doing these videos for you a couple weeks out of the month and then at the very end of the month we will have our live assemblies where we all get to get together. So I'm Mrs. Anderson, I am your school principal. And I'm Mr. Wolf and I am your vice principal here. Hi. Well, and we just wanted to start out with a big welcome to you. Um, this is going to be our second full week of school for our kinders. First full week. We're really excited to have you all here. That is great. And Miss Anderson, we have some reminders that we want to start with. And our first reminder this week is looking at our crosswalk and how we are getting to school. We have a crosswalk that's on Main and 2nd and we have two staff members out there to help us cross the road safely to get to Clackamas River. What we're asking for, Ms. Anderson, is for students and families not to have them cross in between the road where there is no crosswalk. What's happening is we're having cars that are driving by and they're having to slam on their brakes. So just be aware, we're looking for students to be crossing at crosswalks where we have our designated staff. Another important thing is this week in the S'more, you're going to find lots of information about our technology and our policies. So if you would like to start having a computer that is yours, talk to mom and dad. We will make sure that you're available to do that. But the first thing we're going to need you to do is your technology agreement. And you are going to read through that in this S'more and sign off that you got that before we can hand out your technology to you. Great. And Miss Anderson, I know it's a little ways away, but we want to start our reminder with pictures that are coming up on October 3rd. So be practicing those smiles, getting those pearly whites ready for those picture taking times, okay? The other thing you might have noticed is in your classrooms, you have been creating your hopes and dreams for the school year. And we have been moving, the, moving with those to make our classroom rules. Well, Mr. Wolf has been working with some groups of you to start looking at the big, bigger picture and how we can make this school wide. So Mr. Wolf, what does that process look like? I'm glad you asked, Ms. Anderson. So this week, we have already started our grade level team meetings. Today, we met with our first grade team and all six of them worked together to use their voice to display and come up with their expectations for first grade because in a week from today, we will be walking over to the district office with six students from CRE to present what our rules and expectations are for Clackamas River. And the greatest thing is, Ms. Anderson, these are not rules that are being created by the staff. These are rules that have all student voices. Okay, those agreements are so important because we want to give you the very best possible learning environment. So thank you for being a part of that um, and making the commitment to follow the rules that you have created. The other thing we celebrate here is we celebrate kids who are working hard to make sure our school stays clean. So next week we'll go ahead and start with the golden tray, but today we're going to talk about that golden plunger. All right, we have that golden plunger, and this week, checking in with Mr. Armstrong, which is our head custodian, he told us that the fourth and fifth grade bathroom, girls and boys, has been so clean. Awesome. No cleanups in there this week, which is amazing. That is amazing. And I know one bathroom has been on our radios quite a bit. So if you are in the two, three boys bathroom, please make sure you are doing your very best to be taking care of that space. Okay. Birthdays. Birthdays. We have. Happy birthday to you. We have a lot of birthdays because we are covering from when the school year started all the way until next week. So. Listen carefully for your name. This year, instead of a pencil, you will be getting a very cool bracelet um, to wear on your birthday or whenever you want. So I will start our list with Carter in Miss Woods class, Oakley in Miss Freeze's class, Waylon in Miss Rutherford, Cash in Miss Cressick, Mar Marina in Miss Gaylor, Rylan in Miss Cressick, Jackson in Miss Freeze, Audrey in Miss French, 
Landon and Miss Oberg, Blake and Miss Kresick, Owen and Miss Clayton, Shahela and Miss Wood, Mary and Miss Munns, Layla and Miss French, Thomas and Miss Woods, Sheldon and Miss Weller, Brody and Miss Brown, Brett Lee and Miss Brown, Raya and Miss Johnson, Kenna and Arnett, and Kenny and O'Connor, and Chance and Miss French, Mason and Miss Hill, Gage and Miss Brown, Sierra and Miss Wood, and Rosalie and Miss Adams, and Henry and Miss Rutherford. That is a Ooh. lot of cake that I hope you all ate. A that lot a of birthdays. List. Wow. 27 students. So happy birthday to you all. We hope you had a wonderful time celebrating or have something fantastic planned. All right. Oh, Miss Anderson, I'm getting a radio call from our food pantry and clothes closet. Hey, Clack and Miss River Elementary School. We are in the food and clothing closet, and we're here with Miss B, and she is going to explain what her role is as the school social worker. Take it away, Miss B. Hey y'all. So a social worker is kind of a broad term. I do a lot of things. One of the things I do is I help run the food pantry and the clothing closet. So if you are in need of any sort of nutrition or any sort of clothing, you can either talk to your teacher and have them get a hold of me, talk to your parents and have them get a hold of me, or if you see me at like lunch or recess, you can say, hey, I could use something and I'll connect with your parents to help get you those things. I also do a lot more than those things. You might see me helping at lunch or recess. Uh, you'll see me outside in the morning helping people cross the street safely. Um, and if you need other things beyond food and clothing, because sometimes we need maybe help getting connected to a doctor or a counselor, or um, you just have something that you want to talk about and you're not sure where it fits, I can help with all of those things. So if you think of anything at all that you want to talk about, just come say hi to me or have your parents come say hi to me. Awesome, Miss B. I think of you as like a puzzle maker. You are always solving puzzles and putting things together to help everyone out. And we appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Now, last year, we went and we started a new tradition called trivia. Each week, we had a different question. This year, we're kind of changing it up a little bit to keep it fresh and new for everyone. So this week, we have a kinder first and second trivia, and then we have a third, fourth, and fifth trivia. I want you to check out what they look like, but here is our kinder first and second trivia. I want to see, can you solve the pattern? What comes next? Circle, rectangle, circle, rectangle, circle, rectangle, missing, missing. What are our two missing shapes? And Mr. Wolf, can I just come up to you in the hallway and tell you? No, Miss Anderson. I would probably forget what you told me by the time I get back to the office. Then what should I do? Well, what I would, what I'd love to see is writing it down on some sort of piece of paper, okay, of solving that problem and then turning it in to our, I say, trivia box. That would be the best. And one thing that's gonna be really important is make sure you put your name on it. And if you don't know your last name, make sure you put your teacher's name on it. There are a lot of kids in our school and many of you have the same names as somebody else. And we would hate to give your prize to someone else because we didn't know who you were. So make sure first name, teacher name, answer to the question. And when would be a good time for me to bring that down? You know, that really depends on what your teacher says. They are the person to ask. So there might be a time in the morning where kids are working on their own, but make sure when you ask, you tell your teacher why you need to go to the office. This is not an emergency. It is something to do during free time. Here is our next trivia question. This is a story problem for our third, fourth, and fifth graders. Ashton had two boxes of pencils with 14 pencils in each 
box. He gave six pencils to his brother. How many pencils did Ashton have left? I guess we'll find out. We will. And this is what we want to see as well. We just don't want to see the answer on a piece of paper. Show us your work. How did you solve your problem? Did you draw the pictures? Okay, did you write the numbers? What did you do to solve the problem? Okay, let's see who can pull that one off. I know we still have some crumbled cookie gift cards. Um, we've posters. still got some posters. We've got t-shirts. We're looking to clean out our cupboards. So give us your answers. We'll give you your prizes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We hope that you have had a wonderful week here. We've had a wonderful week getting to know our newer students and then seeing some familiar faces again. And we hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you back here on Monday.